Yo, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Uh, this reflex image and also uh, this me on your screen right there. And today is my birthday, so I was actually editing my picture and I want to show you something, a simple trick I do, especially when it comes to my hair. So here is what my hair looked like initially, as you can see. It's already going inside due to the kind of effort I do. So if I want to do a sharp air cut for myself, a sharp air line for myself, so maybe your client is also having an issue like this and you want to create a sharp air line for your client. So I'll show you the a very easy trick I do to create a sharp, sharp air line for myself and you can actually do it very very simple and straightforward just like three four single simple steps away so stay with me let's start so what i just need to do is to pick on my pe pencil which is right over here uh, yours might not be here but if you're using a photography panel but if you're not using that let me show you how to do that just go to your window on that window go to the workspace on that workspace click on your photography once you click, click on your photography it's going to load this panel up this way for you but for you to get it in two form just click on this icon over here once you click on it it's going to load it up for you so your pencil should be here so picking on my pencil now just have to zoom in i'm going to trace over how i want the airline to be so let me say i want it this way so i click here just have to click then i'll hold the curve down i'll hold it down let me say i want it around let's say around this way as you can see i want it this way so okay i'll click here then i'm going to circle it around like this i'll circle it around i'll circle it around this way let me see i'm okay with this selection right now just have to click on make selection my feather let me make it about two, okay let's make it 10 pixel then i'll click on my okay so you're going to turn it to selection for me so i'll click, click on my polygonal exit this time around i'm going to minus from this selection over here minus from it let me click it around let me minus around this way okay so let me say i'm done with that the next thing i just need to do now is just to click on ctrl j to duplicate my layer ctrl j as you can see if i'm to turn off my background layer as you can see i have my air over here so i'm to turn it on back again so but now i'm not just duplicating it once i'm duplicating it twice so i'll still duplicate again by clicking on ctrl j so this last one which i have over here i just have to right click on it right click creates a clipping marks i'm clipping it with the one below so i'll just have to click on ctrl t for free transform then i'm going i'm coming here to click on waps this icon over here. once you click on it so i'm just going to mess start messing with these two just is to drag it down drag it down so for you to feel the line for me okay i'm going to drag it down i'm going to drag it down until i get what i want until i get what i want i'll keep dragging and it's going to create a perfect air line for me let me see i'm okay with this i just have to click on my okay ctrl d to select so if i'm to turn this off now see the before and after and someone might actually not be able to tell the difference if my hair is this way or it's been fabricated so here's the before and here is the after after before and after so this is a simple trick i want to show you guys in this video so thanks for watching if this is your first time visiting don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on my notification icon if you have any questions you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible see you guys on my next tutorial one love interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also 
this includes my PNG files, this includes all my packs, all my picture editing files, my premium overlay, my PNG, my flying fabrics, my color lookup, my presets. So once you buy this, you've already bought everything apart from this one. So here is my flying fabrics. Here is my, in case you want to give me any project for me to work on. Here is my color lookup, here is my background overlay. And here is my presets file. So in case you're interested in buying anyone, you can actually go for them. The good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency, any currency of your choice. You can buy with any currency of your choice. 